Hey everybody, happy holidays. I'm artist Micah Gogan and I'm here today to show you how to print some circular pretty purple snowflakes. It's gonna be a ton of fun and we're gonna use the six inch round plate to get this done. It's a great project that you can do with the kids or you can just explore on your own with different color combinations. So let's check it out. All right, so let's get started with our pretty purple snowflake. We'll be using the gel press gel plate, the six inch round. So I've already got that positioned. Um, I'm also going to be using a series of golden open acrylics. These are the slow drying acrylics and I've got a combination between opaques, iridescence, and um, even some solid colors. My opaques are gonna include things like Titan Buff that are like a pale, uh, offset and then I've also got colors that make up purple so I've got manganese blue quinacridone magenta and of course dioxazine purple so I'm going to be using those in the mix I'm also going to be printing on the uh, Shizen Design professional grade watercolor paper this is a hot press circle it's got some beautiful pulp frayed edges and registration won't be a problem because the paper is six inches and the plate six inches so I'm actually going to be using that plus my uh, favorite brayer to be able to apply. And then I'll just keep a little bit of uh, water and paper towels handy for cleanup, in addition to just some regular copy paper that I can just get some extra ghost prints with. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off by taking a um, light tone and I want to add a little bit of the Titan Buff um, I'm probably going to add a little bit of iridescent to go with it, maybe a little bit of iridescent silver. And then I'm also going to include a little bit of color, maybe just a little dab of manganese blue. I'm just going to put all of this right on the plate. And I'm going to go ahead and bray my colors softly. Just making sure that I've got a nice soft surface. I don't want to over blend the colors. I like the subtleties of stuff shining through, so that's really nice for me. All right, and once I've got my full application on, I'm going to get my six inch circle and I'm going to put the textured side down, hovering over so that my registration is approximate and then making full contact including the edges with the plate. Okay, and then I'll pull that up for my uh, really soft background. So that's perfect. I'm gonna set that aside, give my plate a clean. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of a softer tone here. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the blue down to get a little bit higher proportions. This time I'll even put a little bit of magenta in there. So I'm wanting to work on it dark to light. So these colors are gonna be a little bit more in the medium tone. Still got my derivatives of purple though because I've got my blue and my red. Now I'm going to take my secret weapon, which is this um, wooden cutout that I found at the craft store. It's got two layers, so I'm going to treat it like a stamp. And I'm going to use this broad plane area first, and I'm just going to hover over so that I can kind of centralize my piece and then place it down. I'm going to use a clean brayer just to apply a little bit of pressure to make sure that I've got contact with the plate. And then lift this bad boy up. It's going to bring the plate with it, which is fine. Pull that down. And I've got a little bit of contact there in the center. I'm just going to use a soft brush. This is a silver brush, silver white. And I'm just going to get that saturation out of there just so that I can clean it down. That's just where the rigidity of the wood did not make contact with the plate. So just soften that up a little bit. No big whoop. And then I'm gonna take my residue here 
line it back up and hover over and depress down, making sure that still I'm getting all the contact with the plate and the paper. And I just have some subtle indentions there. It's really beautiful. Now I can take my ghost print to clean so that I can have surplus on some copy paper as well. Make cleaning a little bit easier, but I get all kinds of different mark making. All right, so now I'm gonna do the inversion and I'm actually going to take a little bit of the dioxazine purple and put it on a print plate here. And I'm gonna take my brayer and roll it out so that I can get a good layer of purple. And I'm gonna take my previous uh, snowflake and I'm going to use it as a print plate. So I'm actually going to just put the dioxazine purple right on the snowflake, making sure that I get a good deep contact, treating it like a giant wooden stamp. Okay. Move that out of the way. Now I'm going to stamp on the gel plate. And then I'm going to turn around and print on my snowflake. And then you have your pretty purple snowflake with all the subtle iridescence. Now you can print on the dark sides of them. You can have all kinds of variations so that um, you can actually punch holes in them, hang them from the ceiling so that you can play with the kids and do a winter wonderland. And you can even print on the back side of them so that you can take surplus from dried prints. And print on the back side of the paper so that you have inversions. Um, so there's all kinds of ways that you can play with these. I'd just like you to explore and hopefully share some of your uh, creations with us. And hopefully you'll look forward to seeing more videos um, using the circular plate. What ideas are you having for this holiday season using gel press circular plates? Mm -hmm.